Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's math channel. I'm now answering question number 10 from the um, International A-Level C12 October 2020 paper. This question is about binomial expansion, which is um, a P2 topic now in the new specification. It says, use the binomial expansion to find the first four terms in ascending powers of x of this bracket 2 minus a third x all to the power of 9, giving each term in its simplest form. Now, for binomial expansion of P2, um, all we need to know is the method using the NCR button and a calculator to help us find the coefficients of each term. Okay, and the origin of the NCR method is basically um, looking at the pattern of uh, what you get when you expand brackets and what the coefficients of each of the terms are and realizing there's a certain pattern and then uh, using this NCR button which helps us to give us those numbers which are the numbers in the begin in like the places of Pascal's triangle. We don't really need to go into the details of that. Those would be more in like the introduction to this topic. But all we need to know is how to use the NCR button to help us find the coefficients of the terms that we need. So when I want to set up a question like this, I like to make one row for each term. Uh, I always put like um, three kind of brackets first. We, we need three brackets, one for the main coefficient NCR, one for the first term and one for the second term. And that will give me the terms that I need. So I'm just going to set this up first. Okay, I'll set this up and then we'll proceed. So this is for the first term, this is for the second term, this is for the third term. And they wanted four terms, the first four terms. Okay, so this is for the fourth term. Okay, so now we look at the main power, which is 9. And we always start off with 9, and then this becomes 0. And this will be 9, and this will be 1. This will be 9, this is 2. The top number stays as whatever that power is that we're raising the whole bracket to. And the number underneath just increases. That will be 9, that's 3. Okay, we could even do 9, 9, and 9, 8, and 9, 7, and 9, 6. It will still be the same. And, um, you know, that's because the this Pascal's triangle which is based on is symmetrical no problem just do it like this then we look to see well, we'll put the values of we we'll put these these numbers in this is 2 and this is minus 1 over 3 X so each of these has 2 and minus 1 over 3 X so whatever term is here you write it there and there you write it in this bracket with the sign very important with the sign otherwise you'll mess up minus 1 third X okay now we look to see what they want. They said ascending powers of x. The x term is in the second bracket, so this has to be ascending power. So it's going to start from 0, then go up to 1, and then 2, and then 3. We stop there because we only want the first four terms. And the other bracket is going to start from the other side, which is 9. And then it's going to go down 8, 7, 6. Simple as that. And these numbers will always add up to the main power 9. 1 plus 8, 9. 2 plus 7, 9. 3 plus 6, 9. Okay, so that's how we can deal with that. Now we have to simply just use our calculator and calculate what each of these things are. The first term won't have an x, it will be x to the power of 0. The second term will be x to the power of 1. The third term will be the x squared term. And the fourth term will be the x cubed term. So let's take the calculator and, and show you what to do here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put 9c0. So how do we do that? We use this button, ncr button. So I'm going to put 9 and I'll press this button. And then I'll put 0. I know 9c0 is 1, but I'm just doing this to show you what to do. Then that's going to be multiplied by, I'll put 2 to the power of 9. And that's going to be multiplied by, I'll put it in a bracket, minus 1 over 3. I won't put the x inside here, because I, I'm not sure if I can, but just in case you have the other card, I'll just show you how to do it like this. And I'll put to the power of 0. I know that's going to be 1, the power of 0. But I'm just I'm just setting this up as this looks. Now when I press equals, it's going to give me my answer, which is going to be two to the power of nine because this gives you one and that gives you one. All right, so it'll be whatever two, two to the power of nine is, which is five hundred and twelve. Okay, that's five hundred and twelve. That's the first term. The second term. All right. Now this is going to have x to the power of zero, which is going to be one. So I don't have to write the x term. There's no x term for the first term. The second term will be the x term. Okay, so I'm going to take. I'm just going to, I've set it all up already, so I just have to change this to a 1, and change this to an 8. So go back to there, change that to an 8. 
and change this to 9C1. Okay, so simple as that. You can just do this and you can, this is enough for you to, to show your steps. It's perfectly fine for you to just use this to show your steps and so just press equals now. And this is going to become negative something because it's minus third to the power of one. So it'll be negative 768, but there'll be an X term out. There's going to be an X term. I didn't put the X inside the bracket. There's an X term. The next will be the X squared term. So we're going to do the same thing for the next one. We'll just change these numbers that are different, which is this becomes to the power of 2. So, of course, this will be a positive now. And this is going to be to the power of 7. And this will be 9C2. And that gives us 512. So it's plus 512x squared. And then finally, for the term in x cubed, which is the fourth term here, we're going to change this to a 3. And we're going to change this to a 6. And we're going to change this to a 3 as well. And that gives us negative 1,792 over 9. Negative 1,792 divided by 9. And that's the x cubed term. So we can say now that 2 minus a third, 2 minus a third x to the power of 9 will give us, as an expansion for the first four terms, 512 minus 768 x plus 512 x squared minus 1792 over 9 x cubed. Okay, so that's the answer to the first question. Um, that continues, but that's as far as we want, the first four terms. Okay, so there's part A done. Now we're going to go on to part B. Okay, now it says um, f of x is equal to 3 plus a over x times 2 minus the third x to the power of 9, um, where a is a constant. Given that the coefficient of x in the series expansion of f of x is equal to 0, we've got to find the value of a, writing the answer as a fully simplified fraction. Okay, now. What we have here is the same thing as what we expanded for the first four terms. So we could say that f of x, therefore, would be 3 plus a over x multiplied by the expansion of this, which is 512 minus 768x plus 512x squared minus 1792 over 9x cubed. Okay, so that's what this f of x would be equal to. Okay, for the first four terms of that times this. Now, it says the coefficient of x in the series expansion of f of x is equal to zero. So if I expand this, the coefficient of x, the coefficient of x will be given by, when I multiply 3 from this bracket by minus 3 times negative 768x, that's going to give me the x term. Um, nothing else multiplied by 3 will give you an x term. That will be constant. That's the x. That will be x squared. That will be x cubed. And so on. You go all the way to x to the power of 9. There will be no other x term if I multiply 3 by anything. But if I multiply a over x by each of these terms, which of them is going to give me x term? Well, this times that will give me a term which has got x to the power of minus 1. Like it will be 512 a over x. This times that, the x terms will cancel out, give me a constant term. a over x times 512 x squared, that's going to give me a over x multiplied by 512 x squared. That's going to give me the other x term. If I multiply this by all the other terms, they're going to be x squared, x cubed, x to the power 4, and so on. So these are the only two x terms that we'll get when we do this and this. And we know the coefficient of x is 0. So this, this is going to give us 0 x squared. Okay, so we can forget about the, sorry, 0 x, not x squared x term, not x squared term, that's going to give us 0 times x. So we can say that that means that 3 times minus 768, so 3 times negative 768, that's negative 2,304, plus, and this will be, when you multiply that, that will be 512 times a, because the x, the x will cancel out. So I'm just, I'm just thinking about the x terms now. That's going to equal 0. So what's the value of A? Well, let's rearrange that. 512A equals 2,304. 
So A is equal to 2,304 divided by 512. So that means A is equal to, we'll have, right, we'll have to leave it as a fraction, it says, a fully simplified fraction. So we could just do 2,304, 2,304 over 512, which gives us 9 over 2. That's a fully simplified fraction. You could write it as 4 and a half as you want, but that's fine. So there's your answer for A. Okay, so where did the, this should say X, yeah, sorry, that, that, that's going to give you an X. So where did these X's go when we finish? Um, they, we're just comparing the X terms. So we just, we don't have to write the X down here, we're comparing the coefficient of X. So the coefficient of X here is this, the coefficient of X here is that, and the coefficient of X here is zero, as they say. So there we have the answer to this question, question number 10. I hope that was clear. This part B is a sim very typical type of question that comes up. Um, Part A is quite st straight, straightforward and, and standard. It's quite very easy to do, especially in P2 um, binomial expansion, where you can use the NCR button. It makes life very easy for you. You just have to just be methodical and clear in your method. This vertical, this way of making a row for each term is makes things very easy laid out for yourself so you can see what you're doing and it's easy for the examiner to mark as well. Any questions that you have from this paper that you want to look at, you can find them in the playlist that... Um, is going to appear somewhere over here. Questions that you might to want to watch, other questions about the binomial expansion from P2, the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And if you want to see links to other types of papers, P2, P3, P4, P1, um, S1, M1, so IG papers, you can go to the description link in the, uh, the bottom of the video and click on that to the different, in the, in the different documents that you might find there. Thank you for watching and see you soon.